I'm trying to think um, if there's a, a, a dot two story both prior to this and after this video camera yeah. where uh, the basic premise of an episode is everybody just goes nuts. Uh, that's not particularly um, 21st century terminology, is it? But it's really, 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 really good. I mean, you just feel sort of all sense of um, sanity crumbling away. Hello, Dusty. Sanity crumbling away. And um, uh, when Todd comes back, not Todd, what's his name? Roberts, whatever his name. And he's just grinning like a loon <laughs> with his box. And you're thinking, oh, no. What can <laughs> what more can go wrong here? And um, it's peculiar because th this story wouldn't work with any other Doctor thus far. Maybe the second Doctor, actually. Um, but Davison's sort of affable, can't we all just be nice and get along, facilitates this story working, doesn't it? This, this, is, this couldn't be a Baker story. So it's interesting how uh, a new Doctor facilitates new sorts of stories. Um, I'm finding it quite weird how Adric's gone from being maths genius to kid who just prefer, pretends to side with the baddies for a bit. It's a weird character trait, and it, it's become such a um, cliche now that I don't... Why does the Doctor even look surprised when he does it? Yeah, he did it in the last episode. He's done it, he did it in State of Decay. He did it in... He does it all the time. It's his favourite trick. Anyway, there we go. Why did Tegan change her accent when she became evil? Because it wasn't Tegan anymore. Why was she not Australian? Because it wasn't Tegan anymore. Crazy. It was the Mara. So let's talk about Tegan, or more specifically, let's talk about Janet Fielding. What a little bit. I mean, I always in this... Well, the one time I watched it, I'm a bit gutted when... Uh, Tegan stops being the Mara, albeit briefly, and passes it to Paris, I think briefly. But, um, God, she's amazing. What a different... Just the way she holds herself is totally different. Like she's suddenly all gone, gone all Rocky Horror sexy. But it's not... Vampire, I'm going to... Yeah. But it's not sexy sexy, is it, though? It's, it's sort of just... I don't know quite how to describe it. It's vampire, I'm going to kill you sexy. Yeah. Hyper-confident. She's very sexy. Do you think so? Do you think she's sexy as the Mara or sexy as Tegan? She's not sexy at all as Tegan. She's a little bit unarranged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. like her. That's not me critiquing. I really feel for her as well when she's stuck in that sort of um, in-between place and she's being tortured by the figure that's there. But a brilliant performance from Janet Field in there. Didn't it seem like a good infomercial for why you should take your malaria drugs? Because you go mad like Hindle if you don't. Yeah. Why you shouldn't? Because you have a psychotic episode like Tegan. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of Big different. I mean, I'm not going to do the whole Winnie the Pooh, what's wrong with everybody thing here, but you almost feel like there's a number of people having sort of correct my terminology if I go off piece here, Lib, but sort of having breakdowns of one form for another or psychotic episodes of one form or another. Um, and it's sort of, yeah, I just find this such a potent story, such a potent story. I'm really, 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 really enjoying it. Anyway, there we go. Talk next time.